I was just flourishing in every aspect of my life. I was had just received my second promotion at work. I had finally gotten down how to be a single mom. My winter basically began on November 1st of 2018. So I woke up early, uh, ran errands with my son in the morning, took him to school and then picked him up. Um, we had a plan to go to like a pumpkin patch event. Um, but we were pretty tired from just running around all day. So we went home and decided to take a nap uh, before and then start getting ready. But um, we never made it to the pumpkin patch. My brother who struggled with uh, mental health illnesses, uh, he came in and proceeded to um, just like attack us both. And from the incident, I received uh, 14 stab wounds on my back. And the first one was the one that left me like instantly paralyzed. Me and my son got put in different ambulances. So I think just the entirety of my focus that entire time was just like, where is he, where is he? It was just asking everyone that I could like about my son. I was not really paying attention to all of my stuff going on. So everyone was kind of just giving me the run around and like not really wanting to tell me anything. And I just remember when my parents walked in and I just like looked at my dad and his face just like said it all. My son didn't make it. And I just remember like that scream that like people let out in the movies, like it's real. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I just cut it contain like that pain. So I think it's just the way it comes out. I accepted my injury really early, like really early on. I really just wanted every piece of myself that I could get back. I was desperately learning how to put pants on again and like I didn't want to be in the hospital gown and I was learning how to do my hair again and my makeup. I just remember I woke up at like two in the morning and being tapped on my arm by the rail of the bed. And I just remember my son there, like, I just remember picking him up and like putting him on my chest and like putting him to sleep. And after that, when I woke up the next day, my cousin was like, anything happened last night? And I was like, um, yeah, like I was so happy to tell my whole family. Like he came, he said goodbye to me. Like, I feel like at peace now. That to me was like, what I needed to like start moving forward. And I remember on my first day, uh, even during my evaluation, like I wasn't in my chair. And I was like, oh, I was so taken back. Like, okay, okay, like maybe this is a lot different than what I was expecting. I think for sure Be Perfect is, yes, therapy, but it's so much more, at least for me, like I just think it's like a weekly reset of not only my body, but like just my person in general. It's just amazing to like be able to get out of my chair once a week and feel my body actually not fight me for the next couple days. Fall for me is just exploring the limits and like maybe retrying things that in the beginning didn't really work out, but now I feel ready for. The worst thing I experienced that day is not my injury. Just because my son's not here, I want to do everything and anything that he's not getting the chance to do. In therapy, I've done stuff that I would have never imagined. From the beginning, I couldn't move a muscle, couldn't move anything from you know the waist down for the first couple months. And now I'm like fully standing on my own and taking my first couple steps. Uh, so I think that's like super amazing. Uh, but I do try not to focus on that journey because I feel like walking or not, like I'm still gonna have a great life, so. To all the Be Perfect donors, I would just like to say like, thank you so much. And I know thank you falls short of the gratification I feel because I feel like there's no bigger word than thank you. It has just given me my life back, 1000%, just in the personal and in the physical and the emotional, mental, like every aspect of my life, Be Perfect has changed and I couldn't see myself here without them. So I know that sometimes it seems like a small thing, but it's really doing life-changing work out here, for sure.